Alright, so Sunburst, uh, I'm going to go on continuation of a previous uh, video that we made. So you, you get to this, you know, very fun kind of like a Roomba-like uh, rhythm, right? So four is going to be where two was. As you move, you're going to be two here. Three is going to replace that. So it really makes it easy. You're here on tenth position, then two on the G string, then you move one, then switch bases. Empty A bass, and then hook the first string. Yeah, index finger on the third string again. P and I. P I M. Hook the first ring. Right, change position. Empty A bass. Then hammer ons on the sixth string. This is seventh position. Fifth string. And then you repeat. to the second string, right? Not the first string. And then you actually move on to the next page where you have a series of different cascades of beautiful themes. So for all constant purposes, you are on third position. Th uh, three is on the second string, right? That's P and M, you pinch. You hook the first string, then index finger takes care of the G string, right? So which is on the fifth fret, uh, sixth fret. One is going to stretch out to grab the 6th string on the 2nd fret. Your pinky remains here on that C sharp on the, on, on the G string. Right, so that's going to be thumb and hook. Then index finger gets the 3rd string, open B. Then again empty bass. And then empty 1st string. And then instead of using 4 for that C sharp, you're going to do a switch. 3 is going to be right there on the C sharp on that 6th fret. And four is going to go upstairs to the to the D string. All right, so you pinch A bass and third string with P and I. And then middle finger goes to the second string, and then your thumb descends on the fourth string. Right, and then index and ring grab the third and first string open. Then you add the A bass to that. Then again open. And instead of just hitting the A bass, you're going to land on third position, right? Three is going to be right there on the ninth fret, fifth string. And you're going to hit the sixth and the fifth string in one single swoop. Right? And right from that, you land a bar on the first three strings. Right? Again, index and ring only. Third, third and first string. Two on the second string. Pull off. Right? And then land your bar on the third fret. Right? P, I, A. Fifth, thir third, and first. And then third finger on the seventh fret, pulling off to the fifth position. A bass empty. And then where your bar was, you're going to place your second finger. You're going to pull off from two to one. As you pull off, you're going to also execute on your thumb an E bass. Well, in this case, D bass, right? Because we're drop D. Two moves up to the second string. Open first string, switch to second position, third string, one pulls off, three on the fourth string pulls off. Right? And then you repeat this whole process, right? So let's just very slowly let me play this.